said, what are some inks that dry quickly and won't smear when dry on smooth paper, for example, Rhodia? Uh, you know, gosh, this is going to vary. I hate to make like brand wide recommendations, uh, but I just don't have the luxury of time on my side here. So most of the Pilot of Roshizuku inks will perform really well in that respect. Um, Pelican Edelstein will also tend to do really well um, with that. J.R. Bond tends to do well. Usually it's like the lesser saturated inks. So the ones that are a little lighter in color or will, um, you know, not be super saturated and punchy in color, those, you know, don't have quite as much dye in them and they will usually dry a little bit quicker and, and not smear as much. If there's a lot of dye and like uh, permanent qualities and stuff like that, you usually have to leave it on the page for a little bit longer. Um, Diamine's got a lot of inks like that, but they've also got some super saturated ones. Diatremenis is kind of like that too. Um, so it, you're gonna have to do a little bit of experimentation um, on that. So um, the less saturated, the better. Yep, non-permanent inks usually work better and pigmented inks actually usually work pretty darn well. So if you like the platinum carbon black I just mentioned, that one works uh, really well. And the other thing you can do is if you don't wanna compromise and you're like, I love this ink, love this paper, love this pen, it just doesn't dry fast enough, you can always look to do a blotter. Um, like me personally, I've got my traveler's notebook here, but sometimes I'm writing stuff on the fly. I don't wanna have to sweat what ink I have in here. So I'll just write, and I've got a medium nib in here, so it you know puts out a decent amount of ink. So sometimes I wanna write, and I just wanna close up the notebook and go. So I actually cut up a little sheet of blotter paper here that I keep tucked in the notebook. So it's like when I'm writing stuff on the fly, that's it, I'm done, bam, and I just close it up on the blotter sheet, which kind of doubles up as a bookmark too, and then I don't have to worry about ink not drying and transferring onto the other side of the page. Great little trick that I picked up, I don't know where, it might have just been my own common sense, uh, but definitely try that if you haven't, in, in your like a notebook kind of setting. Or you can do a rocker blotter if you're doing more like handwritten correspondence kind of stuff.